Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. In Python, it's important to understand the differences of different data sets and data types for complex structures. So Python has at least four types for those. List, tuple, set, and dictionary. So in this video, I will demonstrate those with simple examples so you would use them or at least understand the differences if someone mentions them in some tutorial or YouTube video. So let's create a tuple or a set or something so you would understand the differences. First, you see on the screen, it's a list. It's called kind of array in general programming. So in Python, it's called a list. But even if you call it array, everyone would understand you. You just create array of items and each item gets its index starting from zero. So you can assign the value to the element. For example, number one would be James. So if we print that, we execute that script and the result is James or you can assign the value to the first element starting with zero again. So this is a simple list, nothing really fancy here. The next type is tuple, which is specifically for Python. It often doesn't exist in other programming languages. It's almost the same syntax, just with different brackets. And what tuple is, is the list that you cannot modify. So you cannot change the values. You can just print them and work with them, iterate through them, but not modify. It's also called immutable. So if we execute that, we will get an error. Tuple object does not support item assignment. And this is the point. For large amounts of data, tuples are a bit more memory effective in terms of performance. But the main point of using tuples is specifically protect the data from being modified by other developers or other functions. You could probably call a tuple like a constant list in Python. The third type I want to show you is set. So those two are numbered with numbered items, zero, one, and so on. With set, you just have values, a set of values without any order, without any index for each item. So you can iterate through set with for loops and other structures and functions, but you cannot do something like this. There's no index zero. So if we execute that, we will get an error, set object is not subscriptable. It's just a fancy word, meaning you cannot do that. And the final thing I wanted to show you is dictionary. Dictionary is the same as set, but with keys. Those keys are not numbers like zero, one or two. You can assign anything you want. It's basically key value pairs like in a dictionary word and meaning. So with dictionaries, you can get the value by its key. So if we execute that, the result will be John because we have key of CEO like this. So yeah, these are four main types for complex structure in Python. With practice, you will totally get used to when to use which one. This video is kind of like general overview for those who don't know those types. And also on top of that, I would advise to learn two Python libraries with more data structure, which is pandas with data frames. And I have a few videos about pandas on this channel and I will link them in the description below. And also a library called NumPy with so-called ND array and dimensional array, especially if you're gonna work on machine learning projects, you will need to work with data frames and NumPy arrays quite a lot. And those libraries provide more functionalities to reshape and transform those data frames and structures. So that's on top of default Python types that we discussed in this video. Subscribe to the channel to get more tips like this one about Python and machine learning and see you guys in other videos.